Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will discuss about the directives given in the question. So if you're writing UPSC examination, civil services, Indian economic services, or any optional subject for the mains examination, that will help you. Even if you are preparing for RBI grade B DEPR exam, these words will help you. So this lecture is for those who want to understand what to write in the examination when the question asked by the examiner. So here, this is what we call interpreting the words because if suppose someone is asking about to discuss and you write in the bullet points you will not get marks because they are asking you to discuss certain concept or certain uh, policy measures asking in the question but here if you know these terms what to write or when to write what are the points how to write objective bullet points how to write subjective points when we when can we write in paragraph when can we write in bullet points what to what kind of examples are important how to fit data facts etc etc so we will discuss this in the whole lecture so let's start first of all you see that you must read a wording of the question carefully and answer it according to the terms specified. It means if they are asking your name, you should tell your name only, not even the surname. So this is what we discuss generally in our live classes as well. But here, just to give you the brief, we can say that this is how the terms mentioned here and the uses. So what I will do is I'll divide this video into two half because that will be like around 17 18 terms so we'll be discussing gradually half half terms in the two videos so what these are the terms these are the uses and i'll be giving you the examples so let's start if you see the first one that is written here account for it means if someone is asking any question like account for manrega scheme so what you have to do you have to give reasons it means you are making account of everything so if you are making account it means all the reasons why manrega is important why manrega is initially started what are the benefits etc etc so all the reasons you have to give now another term the second is account of account of means here they are asking about their performance so focus on description more like after the implementation of MGNREGA, that is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, what happened to employment? Was it, was India able to increase that? So account of, it means the description you have to tell here. If you're not focusing on description, you'll not get marks. So you be very careful in seeing this. This is for and this is off. Very minute wording, but it can make a big change into your answer writing, okay? Now we see the third one, assess. So assess means establishing strength and weakness of the features mentioned. Like for example, you take one example, very popular. Pradhan Mantri Fossil Bhima Yojana. This is a very important scheme, very popular, especially for the agriculture and the farmer crisis that we are facing. So if you want to see the strength and the weakness so if suppose the question comes assess the performance of Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana since 2016 what's the performance so what do you write you write strength and weaknesses what are the strengths that the premium is very low if you compare with the previous schemes national insurance schemes and modified NAIS these kind of schemes before PMFBY there were certain problems so this scheme rectified those problems but what are the weakness the timely payment of the premium is not there from the government side so private insurance company will not be able to disperse the amount so these are the strength and the weakness so whenever they are saying assess what you have to do assess in terms of strength and the weaknesses of a particular scheme let's move on to the next one that is comment which is very popular Commenting means like, for example, any crisis is going on. Crisis like climate change is a big crisis for humanity. So comment on that. So every person is having their own opinion and they are commenting. So it's same as like you must be reading newspaper in the editorial section. You must have seen there's a section called comment. You see, write your viewpoint. 
and description based on your observation. So first of all, this is very important. Your viewpoint. So your viewpoint is different from your own viewpoint. If your own viewpoint regarding anything like government, like the structure, the condition of the economy can be different. But your viewpoint should be in the examination is 90% linked with the newspaper reporting. Because you know that the person writing articles in the newspaper should know more than you. And that is quite acceptable. You are as an aspirant. So here the difference is your viewpoint required, not your own viewpoint. I'll let you know where your own viewpoint is required. The second is description based on your observation. Why observation? Because if you are preparing for any prestigious examination like UPSC, your observation is very vital because you will run the country and you will be the part of the administration, the top authority of our country. So if you are preparing for UPSC, then your observation matters a lot and your observation will come from where? By reading the newspaper. So you know that following the news, reading the newspaper is very vital. So just commenting like very simple example, right now Afghanistan crisis is going on. So comment on the current situation, current geopolitical situation in the, uh, we can say in Asia or Central Asia. This is the question. Now you have to comment your viewpoint, description, observation. Why comment? Because the crisis is still on. There's a tussle. So you can comment. You cannot conclude that. Okay, whatever the development till that time, you have to comment on that. Next one is compare. Now this is a very simple, simple word. Here you have to present the similarities and differences between the features mentioned. Like compare the Planning Commission and Niti Aayog because we can compare these two. Now Planning Commission started in 1950 and 2015 was the Niti Aayog. So similarities and differences. What are the similarities? They are non-constitutional bodies. Similarities like the structure is almost similar. Prime Minister is the chair. Then there are several similarities. They make planning, etc, etc. But what is the difference? Difference is the Planning Commission established in 1950 was based mainly on planning that is from top to bottom. But Niti Aayog established in 2015, the approach is bottom up. It means we will develop the villages, then district, then state and then the whole country. So the differences are many, but that just to give you the example, comparison means similarities and differences between the features mentioned in that particular question. Okay. Next one is discuss. Now, when we talk about discuss, we have to present a thorough analysis. I hope you understand the meaning of thorough in-depth analysis of the question by examining all sides of the argument. So discussion, very important, like discuss the COVID scenario and the economy. What is the impact? Another discussion, recent times, you can see economy is going down. A stock market going up. So these are the two different type of condition. When economy is not performing, why investors are investing? So these kind of topics they can ask in discuss. Discuss means present a thorough analysis. It means you have to analyze why economy is going down, why recently inflation has gone up, and why RBI is still having accommodative stance. Another issue, stock market is booming, investment is coming in, people are working from home. There are different, different scenarios. So it means from the 360 degree angle, 360 degree angle, you have to analyze. When you analyze, then you will get marks. So discuss means a thorough analysis of all sides. This is very important. If you do not do 360 degree valuation or discussion of that particular topic, Will not get marks okay next move on to the next one that is seventh one distinguish draw a clear distinction you can see clear between the feature mentioned now here now you'll ask what the difference between compare and distinguish between distinguish between means are two different things like if you see america's ideology and the ussr ideology both are totally different but in comparison there must be some similarities also so the difference means distinguish between there's a clear cut, watertight compartments. And these are two different ideologies. So for example, 
distinguish between the ideologies followed by USA and USSR during the Cold War. So draw clear cut distinction between the features mentioned. Like the difference in the uh, poverty line given by Tendulkar committee and the Rangarajan committee. Okay, I hope you understand. The distinguish between before 1991 period and after 1991 period. Closed economy, open economy. So they can be many. Next is elucidate. Now under elucidate, we have to clarify, okay, or explain probably what is obscure or different. It means if I'm saying elucidating the basic feature of Indian economy, explain the current economic crisis in India. So simple. Now what's the best feature? Now you know that economy is driven by consumption or investment generally. It can be both as well. So consumption means people are moving towards consumption. They're consuming. That's why economy is growing. The next is investment. It means people are investing and then it is growing. Then people are. So obviously these two are interrelated. But Indian economy in the last four or five years, it has been consumption driven. You can see the quick recovery of Indian economy during COVID period as well. Whenever there was an opportunity of a small recovery, it was based on consumption, not on investment. So you can see the the probable, we can say what's the different point you have to elucidate or clarify that that Indian economy is growing during COVID for a small, small period just because of consumption driven. Okay, so this is how you analyze. Next is very important. These two will discuss uh, together. First is evaluate, you must have seen, or critically evaluate or review. So what you have to do, you have to present a judgment as the relative value of the features mentioned. Now here generally, if they are saying discuss, comment, you will not take a stance, that will be okay. But here, critically evaluate or evaluate. You are like in a position of a Supreme Court judge. What you have to do? You have to give the final judgment, decision. If you will not do, it means you are not able to take any stance. And if UPSC thinks that this person is not able to take any stance, you will lose marks. So you have to present a judgment as to the relative value of the features. So judgment then, it's like at the end of the answer, you have to take stance. If we are saying that critically evaluate the performance of Indian economy in last six, seven years or since 2014. Now here you have to take a stance like the government, this government has done good in infrastructure sector, but not good in social sector, social indicators. This government has done great work in ease of doing business, but not in the other areas. This government has done great work in like tax efficiency, revenue mobilization, but not in the proper expenditure policy. So here you have to take stance. That is what my opinion is. Next tenth one, examine or critically examine. So the difference here is the first one is evaluate and then the examine. So here you have to clearly mention all the pros and cons of the issues raised. Okay, your final decision must be supported by the evidence. It means if I am saying that inflation is going up, then I have to present the data like inflation in June this, July this, and currently we are in September. So that is this. So the reason why you have rejected the alternatives okay you are taking certain decision but you are choosing one because you have to pros and cons you are mentioning then you are supporting some point by giving evidences as well but why you have rejected the other that also you have to mention so whenever they are saying examine it's like again all round examination of that I hope you understand. If you still have any doubt, you can mention in the comment section. We frequently reply all our queries in the comment section, so you can mention that. Still, if you have any doubt, you can connect with me on call on the numbers given on the screen as well as in the description. Apart from this, the second part, that is from 11th, we'll discuss in the part two of this video. So stay tuned and don't forget to give a big thumbs up to this video and share and subscribe, e colleagues. Thank you so much.